I think we are live now. It's awesome that to be the only one. By the way, what time is it uh, in, there in California? Is it 5 p.m.? Is it? Yeah. Oh, just about a couple of minutes before five. Uh, now it's here is 9 p.m. And I hope everything will work out fine. Yeah, we're live. Welcome to this very, very special edition of this podcast. And we have, you know, what can I say? The one and only. Our radio hero from the 90s, Mr. Shadow Stevens. Welcome, dear Shadow. Hey, please stop, stop, stop. That's too much. I'll get a big head. Stop. No more. No more. Do you, do you, do you have some the drum roll over there? Is it like, a, like a little effect? Oh, yeah, yeah. In a world oh, yeah. where... <laughs> yeah, you, what you really need is, is some uh, bigger-than-life fanfare. You know, something, uh, that is, something that's huge. Uh huh. Like, um, is there such what, such, such would, thing like, like a huge yeah. crowd or something? Maybe. Um, well, yeah, that reminds me of uh, those effects on you know the the old Monty Python sketches where there was a, like a you know big laugh and suddenly it all stopped. <laughs> no. Yeah. It, it is. This is. This is. Nowadays, this we would have to uh, say one Romero. Uh, this is what I wanted to hear. This is what I wanted okay, to hear. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Please sit down. Yeah, come on. Give it up for Shadow. Thank you so the man. Much. Thank the Shadow you. Stevens. God, you so, have so many fans. So many yeah, fans. We're so many people. Life. Yeah, so many people connected here. And yeah, we were waiting for this opportunity to talk to all. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's please, please stop. stop. Uh, please, 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 please. People, people, settle down. Um, well. Huge opportunity to say hello to your Latin American fans, by the way. Hello, um, my friend. They're, they're, yeah, lots of them, lots of them from Mexico until, you know, the end of the world, uh, Ushuaia, Buenos Aires, and all Latin America, and even Spain, because I have a couple followers from Spain. So, yeah, uh, love Spain. Yeah. First of all, Shadow, tell me what what are you up to lately? What 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 is your present? Well, one of the things I do regularly here in America is I'm the voice of the Antenna TV network. So it's a a, a, a network that plays classic sitcoms and shows like the Johnny Carson Show, and that's real fun. What I do on my own started during the pandemic is called mental radio, mentalradio.net. You can get the free app. It's turned into, it started as a passion project and it's art for art's sake. And what it is, is audio theater. And that is stories, adventures, parodies, sketches, skits, and cliffhanger endings. Wow. And it all goes real fast. And if you listen with earphones, it's immersive. It's 3D. I, moves I around. Had, I, had the, I, I had, I had, I, I, I witnessed that. Ex I, I, it was a great experience. Can you tell us a little more about mental radio? Well, where do I start? Gosh, um, <laughs> wow. part, of the, part of the idea was to create things that were really funny that went too fast. That was like old time radio theater, but for the 21st century. So we're, we're employing 21st century audio techniques in 3D stereo. So when you listen with earphones, for example, or in a big sound system, uh, sounds come from behind your head and move around while you're listening to it. And the stories go so fast, you don't have time for the jokes are just throw throw away. Nothing is like a cartoon. It's all it, like, it this is... is very serious. And, and it'll be like um, a story. One of the characters is Brock Stillwell, a square jawed jackhammer of a man in a plaid suit. And when suddenly there is a infinity sign burned on a cloud and Brock rushes to the rescue. And in one, he dives into a shark tank to save a damsel in distress and a shark bites him and he laughs. And the shark seeing Brock's blinding smile backs away ashamed and thinking in his mind, I've never been a good shark. All the people see through me. All the people are laughing at me. Why can't I be happy like the clams? 
No, that was that that that, that was that was. I mean, I I I I, I was I was imagining the, the you know the all the effects in the background, and yeah, it's, well, it's it does like, it does appear in your head. Like of that, course, uh, yeah, you know, it uh, does. It, there's Craig a Ferguson, Craig there's Ferguson a, said. Um, I listened uh -huh. to metal radio and. It's Flash Gordon, L. Ron Hubbard, Captain Marvel, Buckaroo Banzai, and everything else. The production, everything. All I know is I need more of that and less of everything else. And people That's... have called it audio acid and uh, word <laughs> jazz and just wonderful, really uh -huh. flattering reviews. I don't know what, I, what, I, what I've heard. It was just, you know, mind-blowing, the experience. Uh, I mean, uh, maybe I... Uh, like a radio listener, uh, maybe there there is a format. I think is is, is it a, a, a classical format of radio? Is this, there's a name for that? Is, is there like a well, I mean, I mean, it's basically um, it's it's about thirty minutes of stories, short uh -huh. stories, and cliffhanger adventures, and um, and the conceit behind it is that it all is coming from a former Masonic temple somewhere in Hollywood. And in the temple are theaters and labs and research centers and the outlook chamber where we talk about everything in the real world about getting ahead of the mind and getting behind the mind with meditation. And basically, though, it's really about an uplifting experience that is genuinely funny. And we keep changing it down. There's 22 episodes now. I'm working the 23rd. And uh, over 10 hours of original content, none of it repeated. And um, you can get them at mentalradio.net. You can download the free app. It's all art for art's sake. I didn't do this to make money. Although, although we're pitching it for a television series. So maybe it could turn uh, into. Oh, oh. Oh, hopefully, yeah. It's it's a yeah. great it's a great project. Also, it is is it available on Spotify? On I, Spotify, I, I, it's yeah. on Apple, it's on um, uh, all of the places that podcasts are heard. The difference between mental radio and most podcasts, though, is that most podcasts are interviews or kind of like books on tape. You know, there the every episode of mental radio can take two months to create. Wow. It's like the, the amount of attention to detail is mind boggling. And, and, it's, a, and, it's, uh, and it's all done right here in my studio. And it's because I'm a fanatic and uh -huh. I can't let it go out unless I think it's the best that I know how to make. Uh, and, I mean, yeah. how many people is involved in this project? I mean, I, 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 as, as, you, as you tell me, I, I'm imagining uh, uh, like a team of editors or something like that. No, no, there, that almost everything is written by me and my partner, Joshua Weinstein, who's a screenwriter, and uh, he got involved right at the beginning because we were both working on a, a project that I wanted to pitch for a television series and then uh, COVID hit and we were all in lockdown. And I said, look, I'm going to do something yeah. that is uplifting, that makes people, gives people some optimism and hope. And it's, um, it's kind of complicated to explain, but I'm going to just do it. And I did the first one and he listened, he went, got it. I want to be involved. How can I help? So he started helping wow. me write. And then I reached out to a guy that when I was doing uh, tele uh, advertising, um, I did this campaign that called um, the Federated, the Federated Group. Well, and we'll talk, we'll talk about that. A we'll talk about that later. Yeah, time. yeah. The guy who um, was my director of 1,100 different commercials uh, has 11? turned into a world-class world music composer. And I called him and I said, I'm doing this project for mental radio theater. And um, do you have any music that I could use that you own the publishing on? And he said, yes, I've been paid to do all these movies that never came out. You can have whatever you want. And he opened wow. up the vault. And so all of the music that is on mental radio is absolutely cinematic. It sounds like you're watching a real movie in your head. And it's all from one guy. Wow. It's astonishing. Like a whole orchestral. It's, it's John Williams and it's Marconi and it's, um, it's every, all the greats that you can think of. Chuck Serino. Wow. But everybody. I mean, you, you do also the, 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 you edit 
the the show you i mean you you got a help you got a little help from uh, from the on the writing but uh i mean you act i mean you you just you just act right like right now like you 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 give me your lines and you're an actor come on and also you do the editing and the final product all by yourself yeah i do all the editing and i do all the artwork um so all the promos that you see online uh, there's new artwork every week well It's, people um, i strongly well, I, i strongly recommend uh mental radio which is the latest huge project that shadow stevens is is doing at uh, this moment uh, and now uh let's talk about uh your acting years i i heard that you act in some movie this is maybe i heard something like you were like a movie star in uh in some particular not hardly a movie star although it looked promising at the time i had come off of doing these television campaigns which were wildly successful At that time, I did all of the advertising for the Blues Brothers movie for 48 hours for Fast Times at Ridgemont High. And on the heels of that, I got this chance to do the advertising for a company called the Federated Group. Yeah. And what it was is kind of a best buy, like home entertainment um, appliances, everything. And they... Um, you created a char the character. I created the character and, and wrote all the commercials. And... It was the very first idea was basically me saying to the president of the company, um, how about if I do a Dan Aykroyd Bassomatic pitch man, a parody of a pitch man? I talk real fast. And at the end, I'll say Federated smashes prices and I'll smash a television with a circus hammer. He said, that's wow. funny. You want that to was, do that? That was the, 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 what, that was the first, the very first. That was, that was the very first one. And, and he said, uh, let's try it. And I said, if we do it and it's successful, will you give me creative control so I never do the same thing twice or people will want to kill me? And he, go, and he rolled his eyes and goes, yeah, okay, fine. And that, that weekend business went up 500%. And they went how, from- how many, how many ads have you done with the Federated? I, like- It was like well, we, uh, we did it for we turned out six to eight or more commercials a week wow. for six or seven years. Uh, you can uh, there's there are videos. Yeah, that, on, on it YouTube. is in your on, on, uh, check out the Shadow Stevens YouTube channel. You can watch a, a, like a yeah, marathon one, one, marathon of Federated. One is called Bludgeon Advertising. And that's a half hour version. Then there's another one called Laugh Now, Think Later that talks about my radio career and then it talks about television and and uh advertising and all the different things i've done and then it it shows shadow vision which is a show that i wrote and sold to hbo it's very crazy it's like well, disturbingly how, crazy well, 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 what's the main uh premise shadow vision, did, did you ever read hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy wow that's like it was like yeah. hitchhiker's guide at 100 miles an hour it, Dr. Who? At the time, it was really revolutionary it was like 1986 and um and there it, were it was the, it was the same author uh from good omens you know the, the book good, good omens the, there's a it's the same author that of this uh, there, there's a tv series on uh, with on the david they, 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 yes david tennant yeah. and although although the tv series was a little bit wacky and and i was never a, a fan of the tv series the writing oh. is brilliant and i have a copy of the author reading every one of the books and it's laugh out loud funny because he does it very seriously like it's like he's reading charles dickens or something and, <laughs> and it's laugh out loud funny but the idea is are really crazy and the idea of shadow vision is that they're they're basically something takes control of all of our televisions and a voice says this is not mind control think about it this is not mind control think about it this is wow. not mind control think about stop, it and stop, it makes stop, people stop. crazy i'll do whatever you want it's like, <laughs> yeah. it's like uh, it's, by repetition you know stop. it's like <laughs> yeah it's like you know the past truth that everyone is talking about nowadays is like by repetition okay yeah that i i believe what you say i mean uh shadow vision i uh it was great um what i i 
first heard about you when you uh, started with uh, Hollywood Hollywood Squares, which was a very popular show. In Argentina, there was a version of the same show. Oh, really? It was called Tate Show. It was like, you know, like the six pieces. There's a mm -hmm. game called Tate T. And that's kind of like, it, it was like a pun. And uh, when I heard that you were actually the, 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 the first... Uh, you were the, the presenter of this show. Well, no, After... no I was, um, I'll tell you the story behind that because it's kind of interesting. Uh -huh. um, now I'd come off of Federated and it was such a big hit because they went from 14 stores to 78 superstores in five states and four it was a, it was a national hit. It was all over the West Coast, all the way to Texas. And on the heels of that, I was hired, and this goes to your original question, was the movie. So I had a three-picture deal with Dino De Laurentiis, is a big, legendary yeah. Italian um, producer. Yeah. And they thought this was going to be the next Crocodile Dundee. And they hired me to do a show called Tracks, T-R-A-X-X. -X. Tracks. And, and there you was can a, look it up. Yeah, there was I'll a movie you, on YouTube, it, yeah. It, it's, a, it's an insane movie. And it would never be made today because it's very. Uh, I can, I can never get enough of the. I watch it all over and over and over it's, again. It's yeah, it's, it's like really insane. Yeah. And uh, and what happened was we did it, and uh, and it, it came back to put it together, and the uh, company was going bankrupt, and so it got stalled in in edits and re-edits, and then it all fell apart. It was sold off to HBO for nothing. And they put a, about a thousand dollar soundtrack on it, which was awful. It is one of the worst soundtracks in the history of movies. And <laughs> well, that's... And, um, and I was devastated. Years later, it became this cult phenomenon. People, it is. This movie. Yeah, it is. It, there, there's, like, there's a, there's a community. Favorite, favorite movie. Uh, actually, well, yeah. I had no idea, and I didn't appreciate it until there was a, a, a special screening in Portland, Oregon. And and really? they did a thing called a B, B movie bingo, and they played they they you know the theater was packed, and they played the movie on the big screen, and then it was uh, on the bingo card where there would be things like uh, all of the cliches of of B movies. So hero uh, gets beat up by the boss and gets threatened yeah, by the check. boss. Gets thrown the villain gets thrown out a window. Check. You know all of this kind of stuff. Check B twenty two. <laughs> and so they would call them, they would call them out. Then somebody would go bingo. They'd stop the movie and then they would run down to the front of the stage and they would go, yeah, B I N J. So yeah, I'm going to throw it through the movie. It's like that. Yep. That's a bingo. And they would give them a prize and start the movie again. It was wow. so hilarious. It no, was that, hilarious. That, that was, <laughs> it, it was unbelievable. A great I, experience. I, and I had a new appreciation to how insane. Yeah, that, that is. Yeah. It was like a, a shadow Stevens appreciation club fan club on tracks which was uh that dino de Laurentiis movie that um unfortunately afterwards uh, the company just got broke as i heard yeah i i I, re I cut it together in my own studio down to a faster shorter funnier version that's only an hour long this i find. gotta see <laughs> it's also on on youtube um it's called tracks tracks reimagined or I gotta think about what it is. Uh, I got, I, I got, I gotta look for it. On, on is, it, is it on YouTube? Is it on YouTube? Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Um, I'll see if I can find it while we're talking here. Uh huh. Uh, yeah, that, that, that's a, like 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 a director's cut, like a special version. Yeah. Is like a uh, tracks remix, maybe. Let me look at and see if it's the right remix. One. I'm going yeah. to write this down. I'm gonna, I'm keep. I'm gonna keep looking. Uh -huh. I could be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's, it's, it's valuable. Sorry, I don't have it more together, but I just don't. Um, I, 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 we, 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 we'll look for it. And uh, afterwards, okay. we're going to put it on the comments on this video. Okay. And uh, yes, it, 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 this is the link to, to the movie. And there was the point when you got the chance to host uh, Hollywood Squares. And tell me that experience. Uh, well, you, you actually. Well, even the, even the story Hollywood. that is even the story to that is weird. Um, uh -huh. Back when I was really young, um, I was on radio in Boston and a producer from Los Angeles 
discovered me. And he had me on the air um, as the youth correspondent to a legendary television um, guy named Dave Garraway. Uh -huh. And then when I came to Los Angeles a year later, he hired me to be the sidekick to Steve Allen, probably one of the most wow. brilliant, you know, people of yeah. all time on television exactly. and like the first Johnny Carson and, and he wrote hundreds of songs and he was just brilliant. So that same producer then came back to me in the mid eighties and said, we're going to bring back Hollywood squares. We'd like you to be the announcer. And I turned him down. I said, I don't want to be just an announcer. I have a shot. At what, 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 what was your intention? What would you really want to do instead of? You I, wanted, just I, I had a shot at acting and I, and I already had the deal with Dino, Dino De Laurentiis. So at the same time. Motion. And so um, he came back to me again and I turned him down again. He came back to me a third time. Wow. And he said, no, we really want you to do it. How about if we put you in a square and you'd be part of the show and you do the announcing from the square and you could be funny and you can talk about your projects and all that. And I went, that's a uh -huh. good deal. Okay, I did that. And it became not, 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 as a, not, as, not as a regular host, just uh, no, like an, the announcer regularly. Like, and then I ended up hosting while John Davidson was on vacation once. And that's when I brought Howard Stern in to do my part. And that was pretty hilarious. Wow. <laughs> that, that's uh, that's uh, for the for the Latin American fans. This is American culture. We don't have any idea about that. Uh, us people like us that are like all right people you know i mean uh, huge fans of yours yes but the thing is okay 1988 how did it all start on 8040 what was your experience replacing that uh well historical host well that you know i think the reason i got that uh, because i'd been out of radio for years you know i, I had a big a pretty big radio career in Los Angeles um, when I was very young. And then I walked away from radio because my attitude was, if I'm going to work that hard, I'm going to go for bigger stakes. And so I started a production company and I started doing commercials. And then I went back to radio and consulted. And then I left radio again and I was completely done with it. And then along comes, you know, Federated and then Hollywood Squares and uh, the movie and Casey Kasem leaves his company and they and they did a, a search and they they auditioned 1100 people some were you movie you, stars, you did were you actually you 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 auditioned four times wow yeah it wasn't just like oh i automatically got the job although i at the moment i was kind of the ryan secret we're, we're we're <laughs> yeah, right come on okay uh, greetings to ryan secrets i mean no 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 what i mean is that uh, uh you uh i everyone thought that you 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 were shadow stevens you got the job because you were the right man to do no it wasn't like that it was nothing just... was ever that simple <laughs> let me dream in fact they were they were really they were actually really apprehensive because i was stepping in for the legend now here's the other part of this of course my entire life everything i have ever done except american top 40 was funny parody tongue-in-cheek all my writing, all my characters, the, the radio stations I started were all built on radio theater and high energy rock radio, uh, music. And my television, the television campaign, 1100 commercials, all It was funny, like the, the same funny. format. Yeah, same. So now I'm stepping in to the feet of the world's most earnest man. One of the nicest guys in the world, Casey Kasem. And, but he was how do I do this? Uh, keep, you know, keep your feet on the ground and keep reaching for the stars. And I go, I can't do that. Uh, I can't do that with a straight face. What do I do? And, and so the first, the first show that we recorded, a four hour show took 18 hours to record. Every sentence had to be rewritten from my mouth to find some wit, some anything that gave it a sense of attitude that would allow me to be able to, to live with it. I, I, I can imagine first the pressure on your back at the time of you, you, you have the script here and also to give this uh, 
script your own touch your own voice the the rhythm and what do i do i mean this is you know it was written originally for that man i mean what you he must have been crazy to change literally change into your mood i we had to change it and you know he would say keep keep your feet on the ground keep reaching for the stars so i said how about if i say uh something different every week um remember the world is your oyster and if you can't find your pearl you can always have lunch bye bye out there have you have you ever have you ever said have you ever said that little yeah. phrase on, said it on american top 40 <laughs> I, know, I, 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 i can't i can't remember like the get the ball by the horns but i i don't i don't i don't i don't, I don't remember clearly but you yes yeah, that's true you just change each change week it up. yeah but until you finally got your 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 phrase like i don't know what it was a uh, bye, bye bye out there or something like that it was And that no, also changed. your best friend your best friend okay now your best friend was never that my whole radio career was uh until we meet again it's your friend in the void the in shadow the void. in the void and they wouldn't allow me to say that on american top 40 because what is the void it's like it's kind of creepy. It's kind of scary. And what? No, it's yeah. not. It's the universe. It's the infinite unknown. It's the all that is. It's you're it's so everything. spiritual. I mean, you're, you're so spiritual at, at that point of, yeah, you, you're the shadow. You're you, I mean, my best friend in the void. It was, I mean, it makes sense. Well, I, I had to, I had to drop the void and just be your best friend, <laughs> which I kind of resented. <laughs> I, I I I I could tell by the some some episodes by the tone of your voice, like you. Oh, I gotta say this again. Okay, this is your best friend, the shadow. Blah blah. When, It just doesn't the, have any character, you know. If I was doing it on mental radio, I would have something with it. That's and, that's your that's your thing. I mean, yeah, it's yeah. it's written the way I want. It's got to be wordplay. It's got to be mellifluous. It's got to be you know, take you by surprise. And yeah. you know, I, I take great care to, uh, to come up with things that uh, take it to another level, you know, and it is it is something that really, uh, I mean, we need motivation all the time, especially, you know, during the over, over the last two years since that we I, I totally. needed this motivation to do a podcast, for example, uh, to do what, what what you're currently doing right now. We needed something like that in order to keep our mental health um, in order. I mean, remember two years ago, uh, it was like crazy. I, I needed something to uh, make me like stable, I mean, emotionally. And yeah, that's- Well, that was uh, the whole reason I started it. The whole reason I started it was for that very reason. Uh, here I am. I'm going to be stuck in my home, in my studio, with my family. And what, what can I do to help others who are freaking out, who are losing their minds? How about something that is completely immersive, that takes you as that's a real escape from the world, that makes you laugh and maybe has something to say that is uplifting? Yeah, And so that was the entire intention from the very beginning, to make it funny and to have it be uplifting. And so now it's 10 hours of completely unusual ideas. That, and that's what makes you, uh, makes you like, uh, keeps you motivated uh, in, in order to keep on doing what you're doing. Uh, you're a very spiritual guy. I know you're, you're a very spiritual guy. I mean, um, are you a vegetarian, Shadow? Um, I'm vegetarian. Uh, I'm vegan adjacent. Wow. Can you tell me about that? <laughs> well, I, I, I don't actually like meat that much. Um, yeah, you, you never, I will you have, never, it. You, you I will have it now and then. Uh -huh. But I don't, I don't want to make a habit of it. And, and also, there's, there's so many things in meat that, that are not healthy. And I found, you know, um, things that I could substitute that felt better. And uh -huh. every time I would eat, I would feel, you know, logy and, and overweight. Uh, and, once, and, once you quit, I mean, you're talking about red, red meat. Yeah. Red meat. You know, I'll have a hamburger now and then I'll have, I'll have ribs now and then, but very seldom. And afterwards, uh, how do you, uh, I feel 
<laughs> terrible like yeah. god did i gain 20 pounds it's like jesus <laughs> yeah. that's I, I i once you quit i felt that uh, i i okay oh yeah i'll try we, we in argentina we have you know barbecue or we, we have a lot of meat i would probably eat meat in argentina yeah whenever I'd you feel can, better okay. about it than i do Re- remind me remind me that i will take you to a uh asado barbecue tour in buenos aires but you know Anyway, I mean, when I quit, once I say, oh, I will try uh, by, I don't know, New Year's Eve. And I try like a, a, like a little bite and I said, ah, it doesn't feel the same. It, it feels terrible. I, I mean, honestly, it wasn't, like, oh, no, you know, because I'm a vegetarian, you know, like uh, I, I, no, no, no. Honestly, I felt like uh, it was like here in my throat and I couldn't, you know. And anyway, anyway, I'm not an activist. Uh, I'm not an activist of, you know, ve- veganism or s- such things like that. Anyway, but uh, are you into meditation, Shadow? Yes, I have meditated for 50 years. By the way, the name of the movie, uh, the, the, of the thing on YouTube tube is Tracks Remix. Tra- that's what, uh, that, that's what I, get. yeah, Tracks Remix. There's a, there's a Tracks re, Remix trailer, and then there's a Tracks Remix um, somewhere. That's that's uh, the the other the other version of a of a of a movie. Uh, yeah, yeah, with all the bad music taken out and all the stupid st- the, the <laughs> stuff. A lot of the stupid stuff is still there, but, but <laughs> it's, it's lovely, federated. People, you gotta watch all these commercials. This is insane. You, you cannot stop watching. They're pretty uh, funny. They hold up. They, yeah, of course they 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 are. They are and you can't get, never get enough. I mean, uh, I was asking you about meditation because uh, how long have you been into um, meditation? I started meditating uh, because of the Beatles. I learned transcendental wow. meditation, and I meditated that way, and, and I I loved it immediately they gave you the, the nice thing about transcendental meditation besides the fact that you have to pay for it which isn't the greatest thing but well they give you the experience and they watch over you and they and they take you back and they uh, fine tune it and that's really brilliant because that's what most people miss so i did it for about 3 years and then i wanted something deeper and more personal and i found vedanta and i liked vedanta because they didn't proselytize they didn't what, ask what, for what money. is what what is what, what what how how is it vedanta what? v is in victor uh-huh. e d a n t a vedanta vedanta uh-huh the vedanta is is based on the vedas which are the oldest spiritual scriptures on earth and in it they talk about the harmony of religions and how all of the uh, major religions of the world all believe in the in the same thing basically it's the there is an original source. There is, you call it God, or you call it uh, the infinite what, or you call whatever, it the creator, yeah. whatever makes you feel comfortable. And then we get into dogma. And the dogma uh, are the rules and re- regulations. Yeah. Of that's each. when. And that's when problems get yeah. involved. Because I have the only way, I have the secret, and I have to convince I am you. the real thing. I, I mean, one. that's the and business. the only real one. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I like Vedanta a lot. And then I found Self-Realization Fellowship, which is just like Vedanta, and it's based on the same principles. And that was brought to, um, to our world, to the, uh, to the West, w- by Yogananda. And I read Autobiography of a Yogi, and I really liked it. It was pretty astonishing. So I, I took their lessons, and I learned Kriya Yoga. And Kriya Yoga is called the Lightning Path. And it's not easy to do. It requires a great deal of concentration uh-huh. or focus. And, uh, and that resonated with me. And it was so, it was challenging to do. So I went back to Vedanta. And then- Wow. It was about, like an, an, another level. It was, was, was like- Yeah, yeah uh, it, it, it required a, a, a discipline that I didn't have at the time. And then about 10 years ago, I met a Himalayan yogi. And he talked about Kriya Yoga and why it was so powerful. And he was so compelling that I thought, well, I'm going to try it again. And I got reinitiated and learned it again. And for the last 10 or 12 years, I've been, I wake up at three in the morning 
and I can't sleep unless I meditate. So I get up and I have this altar that I had built. You'd love this. Wow, that's a about great deal of meditation. I mean, 3 yeah, a.m. is... Yeah, I'll tell you about it. It's, it's, um, it's deep. About 20 years ago, I met this Chinese artist who made magic boxes. And his name was Po Shun, like magic potion. And Po Shun made magic boxes about I don't know, like 12 inches, 15 inches. And they were made from wood from the Amazon, from Africa, from Indonesia, from the Himalayas, from all over the world. And they're beautiful little works. And I said, can you make me a big magic box? I want an altar that's like seven feet tall and has secret ways to open it, a secret ways to open the doors that has secret compartments and things. Wow. Just wow. because it's like magic. And he goes, yes. So it took about six months and I have had it ever since. And I, um, and I go in there at three in the morning and sometimes I'm exhausted and it doesn't last very long, maybe 30 minutes. And sometimes it goes for two hours and I never know that where long. Wow. It depends on what is your, I don't know, your mood. How do you, how, how are you feeling? Uh, that well, if, if, if you're moment. in pain, you know, I've, I've had back surgeries, I've had, you know, yeah. you know, times when I was sick. And wow. I have, uh, or if I work late, and then like, but I always meditate before I go to bed. So I'll do a shorter med meditation before I go to bed, I'll fall asleep. And if it's real late, I'll sleep through the night. But most of the time, 90% of the time, I wake up. And last night, it was an hour and 20 minutes and I never know how long it's going to be but you get in what you what happens is that you get so your heart slows down and your nervous system gets quiet and your body gets quiet and it's like your body is in a deep sleep and you experience pure awareness and when you experience it as something separate from the body you realize that it's as infinite within as it is without we look out into the universe and it's infinite and infinity is expanding and nobody can explain why. And within it's the same way, the deeper you go, the deeper there is to merge into. And you reach a place um, called the no mind state in which you stop breathing. So the breathless state, the breathless no mind state where you're experiencing pure consciousness and it doesn't involve breathing and it doesn't involve thinking. And maybe waves of thought will come. And then all of a sudden your body will go, hey, I'm not breathing. And then you'll go. Yeah, of course. It's a, little, it's a reflex. Like, I mean, it's a you got you, you to gotta survive. Yeah. And you, have, you know, you have no idea. But the more you practice, the better you get at it. And, and meditation is all about focus. And, and where it starts is, you know, sitting upright so you don't fall asleep. And you can use a candle if you like, because that's focus. That's one thing of focus. Yeah, they, they say I, I try to focus in one like one point. Uh, I, I, I close your eyes, uh, imagine a circle, and yeah, and I'll show, and I'll show you what, what it's like. Um, I um, don't make me fall asleep, Shadow. I beg you, no. please. <laughs> no, I do artwork as well, and and um, that's what I originally wanted to do in life is be an artist, and I still do it. And one of my pieces is called Hope. Uh -huh. And hope, hope is 10 feet long and five feet tall. And it's a celebration of the beauty that faith has given us. And if you allow me to share the screen, uh, set, go to your screen, your screen share and-, and I'm gonna, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you- And I'll show you what it looks like. And then I'll show you yeah, what sure. you look for between your- between your eyebrows in the chakra, the, the energy center uh, between your eyebrows. I'm dun, your host dun, like dun, this. Uh, now dun, your host. Dun, dun. Okay. This is the piece. And as you can see, can you see it now? Yeah. yeah. We're watching okay. it. Yeah. So this is the beauty that faith has created in the world. It's in monasteries in the Himalayas. It's in, oops, I got carried away here. Uh -huh. It's in temples and cathedrals. It's in all of the face of, of the world. It's in whirling dervishes. It's in Native American powwows over here on the right. And below that celebrations of color in India. 
it's in the Fibonacci sequence, which is the order of the universe, and that's in the in the the shape of waves in and and seashells and the spinning of galaxies is all in the same exact equation, the same exact order. They call it the uh, Fibonacci sequence or the golden ratio, and it's also in the proportions that human beings consider to be beautiful. And so no, no, actually, actually, it it is. It is yeah. uh, beautiful, and, and that so, was that was made. It, it was made by right, you. This art, yeah, I made this. Yeah, and it's on shadowart.com. All my artwork, or a lot of my artwork, is on shadowart.com. We gotta yeah. check this. Yeah, that's that's it beautiful. Is, that's beautiful. There's also a companion piece called Doomsday, which I originally did, and this is all of the assault of darkness that's all around us all the time. Even wow, in, it looks know, like. It looks like doomsday, it's, yeah. It's yeah, it's malaria, and it's and it's the atomic bomb, and it's and it's uh, you know, there's something everywhere, and then there's zombies crawling out of the screen. It's it's, it's 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 a compilation of uh, yeah, what is, uh, yeah, doomsday is perfectly. Yeah, it's what we get explain. every day in the media and on social media and throughout yeah, the internet. That's right. Yeah, that's right. It's in our entertainment. It's in Godzilla, and it's. You know, it's, have, uh, it's yeah, everywhere that's, that's, we turn. It's be afraid, be afraid, alarm, alarm, alarm. Yeah, that's that's right. Panic, panic. That, that's that's just one phrase. Wall, this is on the other. So you can see how that. No, that that fun. brings me, I don't know, peace. That's exactly. The, that's that's the word. And especially when you meditate and you, I, I mean, your your level, your level of experience uh, into meditation is, uh, is superior. I think I'm never going to get that level but it is really interesting especially well, the thing is, is you don't do it to get to a level you do it because incrementally it um it gives you glimpses and ultimately you may be lucky enough to see this golden ring in the center when you see it that's the spiritual eye and when you're with your eyes closed you may be lucky enough to see that thing and when i saw it it was 3d holographic in my Wow, head. I want to see and that. At the center of it is a tiny little five pointed star. And it's so overwhelming that you go, it's true what they said. Wow. And your brain starts working like, oh, like, oh, my God. And then, so <laughs> fade. And then you go, oh, no, 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 come back, come back, come back. And it doesn't, of course, because it's uh, so you, you start, you start like, uh, like, freaking out or something you're freaking yeah you know, it's like hold on to it hold on uh, what, 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 what am i doing i'm losing control of it I, yeah i i like to be so much in control of myself that sometimes i i i kind of like i'm afraid of some of those things that i i don't know but it, the level of meditation is like it's always helpful uh how all over these years it really helped me many many problems you know uh, i mean alcoholism drug addiction uh when i when i you know hit, hit rock bottom uh i started and i discovered meditation and it was really helpful for me uh that absolutely time. well and, you know you know that i went through the same thing I, I became a pretty hardcore drug addict and went into rehab and i don't know how i'm alive you know i used into convulsions i carried guns because i thought people were trying to kill me it was Wow. really dark times and um and i made it out you know by some miracle as all of us who did i um and i found a sense of humor in all of it and i can tell my story of course in great detail, yeah pretty oh, funny I, I, actually, I, actually actually we're survivors and we are still doing what we love and this is a celebration of shadow stevens uh for all the 8040 fans in latin america Shadow, thank you so much for being here tonight in Buenos Aires with us. I cannot thank you enough. Do you want to say something to your Latin American fans in English and Spanish, whatever you want to say? <laughs> grandissimo, grandissimo. Uh, love you all. Thank you. I, I, I can't believe that there are Latin American fans. I'm completely... You know, I got great. I got I got messages from radio stations. Actually, I, I cannot I cannot name them all because uh, I, I I lost that I actually lost the list. But one of them was from Mexico, Stereo Mundo, or something like that. Sure, sure. Uh, I remember Stereo Mundo. And there was a uh, rock and pop 
here in Buenos Aires. And sure. there were many, many radio stations that say, hey, hey, are you, are, are you going to talk with, Sh with the shadow? Yeah. Oh, I, no, this I gotta famous. see. So all of Latin America it was on in Rio. It was in, in Colombia and and uh, Nicaragua, Panama, Panama. Yeah, everywhere. It was hardcore, Sunday. hardcore fans of your. Uh, I'm talking about the Shadow Stevens years because you know. Uh, by the way, uh, here in this part of the continent, uh, we weren't able to actually enjoy the the early years of the show because we. There was a political struggle here or that the, the foreign music, you know, we, we couldn't get uh, uh, any type of, you know, foreign music. But there was a fake nationalism, you know, because uh, English music uh, until 1983 when democracy came back. And then the FM radios started to exist here in Buenos Aires. There were only three radio really? stations. Wow. Yeah. One of them was... Uh, I got, I got, I got to name them laser FM, which was like a format of adult contemporary, which was right. wow. And rock and pop, mm -hmm. which was the modern rock and something like that format radio. And this was the station that bought it, the show. I remember. Yeah. I remember doing promos for rock and pop. Yeah. Oh, well, well, now, uh, and we get to know you. We get to know your show. We 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 were the, the fans of 8040 with the shadow, not not the the, the old 70s version. Because we, we, we first uh, there was a horrible situation in our country. You know what happened in the 70s here? Uh, right. Well, the political background was horrible. So when we get back on you know on democracy, we got your show and your. Shadow Stevens years were the, the what was the show that you know make, make keeps us company and we get to know every week the 40 biggest hits in the USA. So All well, right. yeah. What, what can I say? Thank you very much, Shadow. I hope thank you we can catch up again sometime and we'll I, talk about I, spiritual things. Oh man, I love I love this conversation. Absolutely, me too. Thank you so Try much. To